Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. I'm John. In this video, I'm going to show you how to preview the item under the mouse cursor with a set of actions from the SWS extensions pack. So in this project, it's a pretty big project. There's a lot of different audio files ranging from bass guitars and guitars to orchestra and previewing what's on each track is a little annoying if you have to click on solo and then click where you want to start playing from and play and then go to the next track. There are obvious ways of making that quicker. I use shift S to, to solo the selected tracks and uh, that makes things easier. There's an even better way. So let's open up the action list and let's look at preview item. So preview media item under mouse. That will start from the beginning of the item. That will play over top of playback. So I'm going to assign that to the letter B. Playback's going. I press B. And it's hard to tell, but the uh, guitar track was playing twice. That's starting from here. Useful, but not as good as this one. And this one does from the mouse cursor position. So here. So it starts from wherever your mouse is pointing on the item. You can sync it with the next measure. You can pause it during the preview. Pause playback during the preview, which is great. So let's assign that one. So press play. And come out, press pause again. You can also have this with the tracks fader volume playing through the track is probably the one that you're going to want to use the most. Preview media item under mouse through track and pause during preview. Start from mouse cursor position. So I have that assigned to shift space because for me, the space bar means playback. Universally, space bar means playback. I'm going to modify the way playback starts by holding shift. That makes a lot of sense to me. Choose what you want. So now, this is going to go through the track's effects. Before, it was just previewing the media going through the monitoring effects chain. And remember the difference. This is just the item. And this is the item through the track's effects chain. Okay, and it works during playback. Press it again. Press spacebar again. And it goes back to where it was. I love this set of actions. I don't think this functionality is available in any other DAW. It's awesome that as Reaper users, we get to take advantage of this. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials.